Nvidia just made a huge update to their GeForce cards that miners are not gonna like. Let's talk about it. Before that, make sure to subscribe and click the bell icon so you never miss another video. Alright, so today NVIDIA just made a blog post detailing how they would be reintroducing the mining limiter, but not only on the RTX 3060 this time, but also on the 3060 Ti, the 3070, as well as the RTX 3080. So it looks like they're going to be a little bit more serious about it this time, but we'll just have to wait and see, you know, whether or not this does truly end up working. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and read the uh, most interesting parts out of this blog post. But before we get to that, uh, real quick, go ahead and go into the comments and let me know your thoughts on this whole thing. Uh, do you think that the mining limiter is actually going to be a good thing for gamers or a bad thing for gamers and why and then i'll go ahead and try and get to as many of those comments as i possibly can as i do really want to know your guys's opinion but in any case enough screwing around let's go ahead and get into this blog post so according to nvidia they say quote to help get geforce gpus in the hands of gamers we announced in february that all geforce rtx 3060 graphics cards shipped with a reduced ethereum hash rate today we're taking additional measures by applying a reduced ethereum hash rate to newly made manufactured GeForce RTX 3080, RTX 3070, and RTX 3060 Ti graphics cards. These cards will start shipping in late May. Because these GPUs originally launched with a full hash rate, we want to ensure that customers know exactly what they're getting when they buy GeForce products. To help with this, our GeForce partners are labeling the GeForce RTX 3080, RTX 3070, and RTX 3060 Ti cards with a light hash rate or LHR identifier. The identifier will be in the retail product listings and on the box. This reduced hash rate only applies to newly manufactured cards with the LHR identifier and not to cards already already purchased. Then they go on to just self-congratulate themselves about their whole RTX architecture, so we don't really care about that, but they do end the article by saying this, quote, we believe this additional step will get more GeForce cards at better prices into the hands of gamers everywhere. So after reading this article, you kind of get the idea that NVIDIA is trying to appeal to gamers and they're trying to make it look like, yeah, they're on your side and they definitely want you to get, you know, a bunch of GeForce cards. And in a way, I'm sure NVIDIA does want gamers to get their cards as they do want to have a good market share in the whole gaming sphere and they don't want AMD to creep into that market share. However, make no mistake, this whole LHR thing is not necessarily created for the gamers, though, uh, you know, that doesn't necessarily mean it won't be good for you. And we'll talk about that in a minute. But, you know, this was definitely created because they want to try Try and get all these mining uh, at least the big mining operations away from buying the geforce gaming cards and they want to start selling them these mining cards and the reason why they would probably be wanting to do that is because then they won't actually end up on the second hand market when the rtx 40 series rolls around or say if ethereum ends up actually crashing because if that does end up happening in the past what has happened is that those cards that were all being used for mining end up on ebay and then a lot of the people just go out on ebay and buy these second hand cards and save a bunch of money and then it makes it harder for nvidia to sell you cards so that's definitely at least in my opinion the main reason as to why nvidia is actually going ahead and creating these lhr graphics cards however again like i just said that doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be a bad thing for you because i think there's going to be two different camps on this one you're going to have the people who do mine on their graphics cards or they uh, maybe mine on the one gpu that they have or they're looking to buy a gpu and they want to be able to mine on it on the side and for those people this is definitely not going to be a good thing for you because unfortunately this means that you're not going to be able to make any extra cash off of your video card if you were planning on doing that. So I'm sure there's going to be a lot of people who are really not going to like this. However, on the other side, you also have people who have no interest in mining whatsoever, or they maybe just don't want to do it because they think that it's a huge waste of power and they don't want to be contributing to this large power waste that's going on in the world right now. And for those people, this is going to actually probably be somewhat of a good thing because, you know, this actually could allow you to get these cards a little bit more easily. However, it's not going to be just a one-stop fix for everything and I do have a few problems with it and so I'm going to go ahead and talk about those now. So the first problem I have with this is that you know the mining limiter is seemingly only for Ethereum. I didn't see any mention of any other coins such as Ravencoin uh, and what this means is that you know at least for these small time mining operations uh, maybe people with 10, 20 video cards in their basement or uh, you know a lot of people who maybe just even have like a handful of cards uh, this really isn't going to stop them from trying to acquire video cards because they could end up moving over from Ethereum to 
some other coins as those other coins could still be profitable. And then the second problem I have with this is that it's actually only having the hash rate, which is a little bit bizarre to me because if you are gonna be limiting the hash rate on these cards, I don't necessarily know why you'd only go for half the hash rate. Uh, why wouldn't you just completely block it? Now, maybe there's something I'm missing here and maybe it would like affect gaming performance to actually completely block it. But you know, again, it doesn't really make any sense to me. And then the third problem I have with all this is that, you know, Nvidia is selling mining GPUs. So if they were so anti-mining, uh, I think they would just not be selling these mining GPUs whatsoever, but clearly Nvidia being a business, they do want to make money. There's money to be made in this whole mining operation. So yeah, they're going to be selling their CMP HX mining cards to these miners. So that is going to take some of the supply away from the gaming GeForce GPUs. However, I do expect that they are going to be putting a lot of their supply still into the GeForce cards as again, they don't want AMD creeping up on that market share. And then the final issue is that there's still going to be a chip shortage going around here and there's still going to be a huge amount of demand just from gamers alone. So even if all the miners stop buying GeForce GPUs, let's say it works 100%, it's unhackable uh, and everyone doesn't want to buy them anymore even though they can't resell the CMP HX mining cards. Let's just say that that's the case. Well, even then, uh, you're still going to be having a lot of competition trying to buy these cards just from other gamers and 3D artists, etc. Uh, because there's just way more demand than there is supply right now, even with mining not even being in the whole scenario because mining definitely does make things worse. However, you know, ultimately uh, the major issue that we're facing right now is there's just not enough supply. So yeah, overall, I do expect this is going to actually make it a little bit easier to get your hands on GeForce GPUs, but for some people, this isn't going to be necessarily the solution that they're looking for. Uh, ultimately, I do think that NVIDIA is mostly doing this for their own benefit and not for the benefit of gamers, though that doesn't necessarily mean you won't benefit from it. And you know, what I'd like to see NVIDIA do if they really were serious about helping gamers is stop producing the CMP HX mining cards because I know that they're supposedly uh, made out out of silicon that didn't make the cut for their GeForce RTX GPUs. However, if there's some sort of issue with these GPUs, they can probably be repurposed as lower end graphics cards. And I would really, really much rather see that than to have them be used as mining cards. Uh, and then on top of that, I'd like to see them block all types of mining, not just Ethereum. Uh, and honestly, I'd like to see them do a full block instead of 50%. So yeah, I, I think Nvidia could do a lot better. I think this is not necessarily going to make things worse, at least for most people. But um, uh, it could help, but we'll have to wait and see what happens over the next month or two to see the extent to which it could actually help you get your hands on one. But hey, that's just what I think. Do you think that the mining lock is a good idea or do you think that it's a bad idea? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And of course, I'll see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, AMD and Nvidia get more stock. Also, if you want to see more, click here. You won't be disappointed.